Welcome to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, folks. I am excited to get into this game. I absolutely love the XCOM series, and XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, in my opinion, is the best of the lot. So, and it's also the latest, so that makes sense. Um, we are playing heavily modded. I have created a... Uh, mod collection on Steam. I will put a link in the description in case you want to check out the mods and maybe play along. So we are going to jump in to a new game. We are going to play on Legend difficulty. I'll reduce the beginner voiceover and I'll show subtitles as well. We are not going to play Iron Man because of all the mods. So there are occasionally some issues where the game crashes, stuff like that, when loading into missions, and I don't want uh, to have to abandon the series because we have Iron Man uh, enabled. So we'll start without Iron Man, uh, but we won't be doing any save scumming or anything like that. Uh, uh, mistakes will be made, people will unfortunately die, and that is just the way it is. Uh, we will use the integrated downloadable content because we don't want uh, the... Um, yeah, we, we don't want uh, to, to do all the intro stuff. So let's continue. Too much security, even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider, this is Central. Go. Mistakes are bound to happen. Not for a time, not for a time. It wasn't our fault. Get out of my time. Please. There's no need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? You're one of those. You must understand. I had no choice. Outrider. Report. So, you do exist. Outrider to Avenger, I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here. Yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. Excitement continues to build in city centers across the globe. Prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris 
thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. position. You were right. Definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. All right, very, very cool intro. I love that. So we'll be playing around one mission per episode during this series. And by the way, if you are enjoying XCOM 2, if you're enjoying the videos, it would be great if you'd hit that like button and also subscribe, hit the notification bell. If not, you're not always already subscribed to the channel. It really helps me out a lot and I do appreciate it so much. Also, if you have any comments, suggestions, anything like that, please leave the comments on the videos. I read all my comments and I reply to by far the most of them, and I do appreciate all your input. So, I'm looking forward to seeing what you think of the series. All right, I think we are about there. Let's go. I hope we get a Templar or a Reaper as our special unit. We got a Templar. Nice. I like Templars. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Menace one five. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the X four charges at the designated position. Will do. Will do. All righty. Let's take a look here. So we have a place right there. It's not too far away. So that's kind of nice. We don't have that much cover over on this building. I think this building is better where we are. So let's move out and see what we see. Moving out. These guys make There's some troopers. 
disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Alright. Let's move over here. You can come up here. Uh, can we get up here without being seen? We can. And then you come over here. You'll just overwatch. Hopefully they come this way. They did not. Alrighty. Well, we can move up a bit. I suppose we could... We could go up top. I don't really feel like we need to. Let's see, can we reach them with a grenade here? We can. Okay. Uh, so you come up here. And overwatch. You come over here and overwatch. And then we'll throw the frag. And see what happens. Alright, we killed one of them outright. Still two up. It's one more down. And that's all of them down. Nice. Good start. Good start. Right, let's just pistol overwatch here. Okay, so that's the first pod down. Oh, we see another pod back here. Sectoid and Advent Trooper. Okay. And... Hmm. I think I'll just do a round of overwatches and reloads here. Just because we're not on a timer on this mission. And we'll see what those guys do. Will they come this way? What happens? No, they moved away. Okay. In that case, we'll move up here. There they are. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever. It's really the sectoid that we want down. But we'll take that kill. Okay. I think we'll pop a grenade here. Let's take away his cover. And you can come up here and take a shot. Good hit. And then you can come up here and take a shot. Might be a kill. It is wonderful. Wonderful. All right, we just have the officer left then. And I think we're going to have to jump down. Find him. He's probably over here somewhere. All right, we don't see him yet. Uh, let's get a reload in. You come right. over here. Come over here. And overwatch. And over here and reload. Then we're fully ready for the next pod. Back online. Fantastic. Um, let's grab our loot. Lyrium core and supplies, not the greatest. We still don't see him, so we'll just creep forward until we find them. Maintaining this area. I'm on it, Commander. 
it's not the best position for him, but. Yeah, they're over there. Come up here. All right, we see him. The Advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Okay. Now, if we can take the officer down quickly, that would be fantastic. We're going to blow up his cover, of course. Well, I thought we were going to blow up his cover. Didn't blow up, though. Uh, I would love to get some high cover. I can handle that. Full cover. Almost 50-50. Nice. Let's get in here, and we'll try and blow up this cover again. We didn't blow it, blow it up, but we killed him. Uh, hmm. Let's try and see if we can't take him out. Nice. One left. He's on overwatch, so we don't really want to move until we have uh, cleared that overwatch. Sixty-three percent. Nice. All right. That means that we can come up here and flank him and take him out. Fantastic. Very secure. We have a limited window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Yep, and that is exactly what we're going to do. And we start with a flawless mission. That's not bad. Moving to Overwatch. I'll keep it under watch. Got it covered. Menace 1 5, we have a limited window to act before Advent responds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Menace 1 5, rendezvous at the extraction point. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Detonating charges. Cool. That was a really good start. Alright, bonus reward. That's because we got the flawless. Shen approaches you in the ship's hangar after your mission. Commander, it sometimes takes us a bit of time to process the junk food, the junk after clearing one of the ship's rooms. This time I found something interesting. I hope you can find some use for this. She hands you 83 supplies. Nice. And bonus ability points two nice very very nice A flawless mission uh let's see who got mvp so artemis three kills 17 damage uh kim scott one kill 10 damage scion russum two kills 18 damage got mvp and then our squaddy uh, dominga prophet perez two kills eight damage very nice let's continue on uh we should create a photo i i don't know let's just create a photo of the mvp in this instance and we'll figure it out later how we go about taking photos uh, so if you want your name in the game if you want to be part of our xcom squad then send me an email you can find the email in the about section of the channel send me an email with the name of your trooper so a first name a last name and a nickname 
And if you want some kind of backstory, then you can put that in as well. And I'll uh, put that in there. That would be really cool. And also, if you want to be a specific class, then uh, let me know. And I'll try to make that happen as well. All right. So these loads can take a little bit of time. I might cut some of it out when we, as we move forward. Uh, but in this one, well, I'll just let it run. But because I'm talking over it, right? Uh, but going forward, I'll cut some of it. Uh, the load time out. All right. Operation Gate Crasher complete. On a flawless. Awesome. There's... Oh, I love this. Alright, so we have three promotions. He didn't get promoted because he's already a squaddy, of course. And we're going to have different classes than there are normally. So let's see what we get. Scott, what are you? You are a sapper. Okay, cool. Sappers are nice. They get explosive ordnance. Uh, the sapper's capacity for explosive mayhem increases with experience. Launch a grenade. The sapper uses a grenade launcher. And defensive mine, where we can deploy a defensive proximity mine. And it'll damage anyone that comes into range. Now, if we take a look here... This is really cool. Uh, this uh, explosive ordnance levels up over time. So at level 1, which we gain at squaddy rank, we can get a grenade pocket allowing the sa sapper to equip an additional grenade or rocket. Grenades and rockets damage that damage the environment deal plus 3 environmental damage. Then at level 2, which we get at sergeant, we get one more charge on grenades in the grenade uh, pocket. It excludes unique grenades and rockets. Maximum scatter when firing rocket propelled grenades is significantly reduced. Uh, grenades and rockets that damage targets gain 25% chance to critical hit, hit, dealing plus one damage. And then at major rank, uh, we get another charge in our grenade pocket. So we will be having three grenades there. Uh, the scatter is reduced again. And then standard explosive grenades and rockets deal an additional plus five environmental damage, plus one base damage, and plus one damage on critical hits. So that is really cool. Uh, defensive mines count as standard explosives and benefit from all explosive ordnance damage bonuses. The bonuses from explosive ordnance do not apply to heavy weapons without the destructive nature ability. Cool. So we have a sapper. What's next? We have a tech specialist. I was kind of hoping we didn't get a tech specialist. They're not my favorite class, to be honest, but um, so be it. Uh, so the tech specialist can use bullpups or sniper rifles and the gremlin. So, uh, and this is why I don't particularly rate this class. They can only use bullpups or sniper rifles. That's not great. Uh, so we have protocol packages, we have hack, we have failsafe, activates and negate then a negative consequence of any failed hacks and gain a plus 15 hacking bonus for the tech specialist this turn. Costs one action to activate. And then aid protocol, send the uh, gremlin to deploy a small defensive smoke cloud on a friendly target, increasing the defense by plus 20 of all units within. More advanced gremlins increase the radius of the smoke cloud. Now. He also has this level 1, 2, 3 at Squaddy, Sergeant, and Major. So uh, we have Aid Protocol, we have uh, Blinding Protocol, and we have Combat Protocol with one initial charge, and their recharge rate is five turns. The APC Protocols will slowly recharge after all initial charges are depleted. And then at level 2, we gain the Haywire Protocol, 
where we can hack a ro robotic enemy, uh, either shutting them down or even taking control of them for three turns. We get a repair protocol where we can send the gremlin to mechanical uh, allies to restore some HP for them. Scales with the gremlin tech level, 357 HP restored. Gremlin protocols, protocol abilities no longer consume all remaining actions, which is great. Gain that sergeant. And then at level three, we get uh, one charge on each of the protocols and the recharge time is reduced by one turn. And what do we get for the last one? We get a marksman. Stealthy and precise, the marksman excels in reconnaissance and priority target elimination. Can use the sniper rifle or vector rifles and the hollow targeter or pistols. So we have precision targeting. We'll take a look at that in a second. Then we have hull target, which uh, gains, makes, uh, gives everyone better aim at the target that is hollow targeted. I think it's plus 20, uh, plus, plus 10, 15, and 20. Uh, when uh, as we level up uh, then we have phantom when the squad is revealed this soldier remains concealed and we have brace activate to set up a stable firing brace allowing the marksmen to utilize their sniper rifle and hull targeter at squad side ranges and granting an eight tile bonus to vision and standard weapon range as well as allowing access to effects uh, from many sniping abilities and precision targeting moving cancels the brace all right Let's take a look here. Gain the brace ability and the following bonuses while braced. Uh, while braced, uh, reduce aim penalties due to squad sight range by 10%. Uh, reduce target chance to dodge by 10%. And gain plus 10% chance to crit unflanked targets. At level 2, Sergeant. While braced, reduce an uh, aim penalty uh, due to squad sight range by a total of 20%. So that's a double. Very nice. Uh, reduce target chance to dodge by 20%, again doubled, and the crit chance is also doubled to 20%. Very cool. And then at level 3, they all three go up to 25%. Uh, the crit chance bonus applies to both targets that are in cover as well as targets that cannot be flanked. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Uh, we have an Illyrium Corps, some supplies, Intel, Advent Trooper Corps, six of those, Alien Ally Sector Corps, and Advent Officer Corps. Cool. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's go to the research lab and see what he has to say. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power. You're completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Right, farewell, Dr. Tigan. All right, so let's select some research here. So we have modular weapons, hybrid materials, alien biotech, and experimental weapons. And I think we're going to go with modular weapons here immediately. Yes, me too. Work I'll send word when a complete report is available. All right, then we need to go to engineering and meet her. Okay, reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from your old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. 
It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You were probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but in here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. Nice to meet you too. All right. So we met her, and here we can build uh, flashbangs, uh, medikits, full sun harness, etc. And when we get some new weapons and armor, we need to build that in here as well. I noticed early on that the Avenger has a tendency to dip forward when the power core is under load without the engines engaged. At first, I thought maybe it was a stabilizer issue, but now I'm starting to think it's all just part of the alien's grand design. The core mm -hmm. itself may not be entirely stable. Which would explain why the aliens went through so much trouble to isolate it in the bow. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so... We need to start building something. And we want to get down to the exposed power coil here. That would be really nice. Been picking up some weird transmissions lately. It sounds a little like German, but it's hard to tell. Okay. Alright, so what do we build first? It's either the resistance ring or the guerrilla tactic school. And I'm kind of thinking the resistance ring because I'd like to get our uh, resistance orders up and running as fast as possible. So let's build that. A lot of people would argue that the uh, guerrilla tactic school should come first, but I like getting the resistance ring uh, quickly. Um, and hopefully we get it to engineer soon so that we can uh, get it completed before our supply drop in 21 days, because that is when we can set the resistance orders. So we really want to get this completed before that happens. That's the whole idea with building it first. All right, let's take a look at our soldiers. Uh, so I do have not created equal enabled, though these guys seem to be created equal. But it is it is enabled. Uh, you can see here. Uh, I have not created equal on there, but uh, uh, it's a little weird sometimes. Yeah. But we will uh, not be created equal uh, once they start leveling up. Uh, it seems like it, it, it works. So we have a few recruits, but not that many. We need way more because we are going to get wounded Commander, and killed. Good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry. Not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Thanks, dude. All right. So, yeah, engineer in five days. We will definitely go investigate that immediately now some of these missions that we go on can take quite a while and the value of our cooperation commander the elders give us nothing more than raw materials for their design we will take back our power and turn it against them yep I you as an ally facing a shared enemy my followers seek balance with the psionic forces that 
that flow through the Earth and all its inhabitants. We channel this energy, aided by technology of our own design, to pursue justice for those who have fallen victim to the elders and their servants. Alrighty. So, once we have our mm, resistance ring up and running, we, we can uh, use the faction orders and go on covert actions. And that is really important. So, yeah, as I said, uh, some of these missions can take quite a while to, to play through. And if they sure take more than an hour, as as do, I'm sure I will. If the missions take more than an hour to play, if, if the episode goes over one hour, then I'll cut it in two so that uh, we don't have hour-long episodes because uh, it seems like most people don't like uh, them to be too long. So if we go over uh, one hour, then it'll be chopped into two episodes. All right, we got the modular weapons. Let's assign some new research. Uh, we have magnetic weapons uh, research available, and we have weapon upgrades available. Cool, cool. And let's go with... Let's go with the alien biotech. Thanks, Doc. All right, we got our engineer, and we can go get some rookies. And we need to stick our engineer in here. Cynthia, get in there and reduce time. Now. 10 days and the supply drop is in 16 days so that's fine uh, we want to as soon as we uh, so it, it would be 20 days normal right so as soon as we're at less than less days than the supply drop without the engineer in there we want to move the engineer over to clear out this alien debris But that'll be a little while before that happens. All right, new target acquired, Gorilla Ops. All right, another engineer. Okay, Caleb Peterson, an engineer. All right. For Eastern United States. And this is where we'll end uh, this episode so in the next one we'll decide who is going on the mission etc uh, so uh, xcom 2 will be coming out on mondays wednesdays fridays and saturdays so four times a week uh, so i hope you'll uh, tune in for some xcom 2 war of the chosen action and uh, i really hope you enjoy the series if you do uh, it would be great to hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, so you know when videos are coming out. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.